Hello, I am Krishnamurti Pammi. In real life scenario, we come across situations wherein we need to understand the strength of correlationship between two groups of items. The groups of items can be data items, information items, concepts, functions, people, infrastructure items. Likewise, we can come across multiple groups of items and we have a situation wherein we need to understand the strength of correlation between these two groups of items so that we can contribute to better decision making. We have a technique called matrix diagram that can help us achieve this objective. Let us understand matrix diagram in detail now. In real life scenario, we come across two groups of factors, causes and objectives where we wanted to see whether any relationship exists between these two groups. What you see here is a matrix diagram. It consists of two dimensions, list 1 and list 2. List 1 consists of related group of items, item 1 and item 6. And list 2, which is listed on the different dimension, it consists of related items, item A to item A. Now, between these two lists, that means between these two dimensions, we wanted to see whether any relationship exists. We use symbols like dot within the circle for strong relationship. So in our example, item 1 of list 1 is strongly related to item A of list 2. Similarly, item 6 of list 1 is strongly related to item D of list 2. Similarly, item 1 of list 1 is strongly related to item B of list 2. Similarly, just a circle is used to denote medium relationship. So, item 3 and item C are mediumly related. Similarly, there is a medium relationship exists between item 4 and item B. Similarly, a triangle is used to denote a weak relationship. So, item 5 and item A are weakly related. Item 5 and item C are also weakly related. Item 3 and item D are weakly related. Similarly, blank cells are used to denote no relationship. For example, item 2 is no way related to either item A, item B, item C, item D and item E. Similarly, item 3 and item A are not related. There is no relationship exists. So, a matrix diagram is a tool that allows a team to identify the presence and strength of relationship between two or more lists of items. It provides a compact way of representing many to many relationship of various strengths. Now, let us understand the significance of matrix diagram. The matrix diagram consists of two lists. List 1 consists of item 1 to item 6 on one dimension. Only thing is item 1 to item 6 should have something in common. Together, item 1 to item 6 should represent a set of something called list 1 or group 1. So, hereafter we can call this dimension as list 1 or group 1. Similarly, this dimension is called group 2 or list 2. And this particular dimension consists of item A to item E. Item A to item E should have something in common and they together represent a set of something. That is why they are on another dimension. Now, on these two lists or on these two groups, you can bring in various data items, information items, functions, concepts, actions, people, material, equipment and so on. The moment you have a correlation exists between these different dimensions, it gives a beautiful meaning. Let us now take people here. Person 1, person 2, person 3, person 4, person 5 and person 6 of group 1 or list 1 is now compared with person A, person B, person C, person D, person E of list 2 or group 2. Now, the moment we say person 1 of group 1 is strongly correlated with I or person A of group 2, it gives a beautiful message. That means, if we want to bring coherence between these two groups or lists, 
now we need to look at wherever strong correlationship exists between these two groups of people so here if you see person 1 is strongly correlated with person a person 1 is strongly correlated with person b person 6 is strongly correlated with person d now if we want to bring coherence a strong coherence we need to look at wherever strong correlation exists and we need to bring in coherence among these two sets of people now once we are done with the strong correlated people then we look forward for mediumly correlated people that means person 3 and person c person 4 and person b and person 5 and person e like this so like this my dear friends the matrix diagram gives a beautiful correlation and a compact analysis source for us to proceed for a better decision making likewise my dear friends when you actually put the conceptual items in these two lists that means list one on one dimension list two on another dimension and you say between conceptual item one and conceptual item a there is a strong correlation exists it gives a very good powerful analysis for us we wanted to see between conceptual item one and conceptual item a what is that strongly correlated can we identify earmark that commonality between conceptual item one and conceptual item a and can we segregate these two aspects and now can I create this commonality intersection as another conceptual item one so that we can give less opportunity for redundancy between conceptual item one and conceptual item A. Likewise, it gives beautiful message. Matrix diagram gives a compact way. It provides a beautiful direction for better decision making. Likewise, my dear friends, for different data items, for different information items, between functions, between various actions, between various materials, between various equipment, the moment you know what are all strongly correlated, what are all mediumly correlated, where there is a weak correlation exists and where there is no relationship exists, this compact way of analysis gives a beautiful message and it is possible because of matrix diagram now there are various matrix types are available to show varying relationship between the items that is strong relationship medium relationship weak relationship and no relationship in this video we are going to cover four types of matrices they are l type matrix t type matrix y type matrix and x type matrix in l type matrix we compare items across two dimensions list one on one dimension list two on another dimension item one to item six they fall under the umbrella of list one and they are on one side of the l item a to item e they fall under the list two and they fall on the other dimension of the l if you see it is a reverse l so the items of list one and list two are correlated or compared as part of this L type matrix diagram. As part of T type matrix diagram, you have two L shapes here list 1 and list 2, and list 1 and list 3. So the items of list 1, that is item A, item B, item C, item D, are correlated with the items of list 2, that is item 1, item 2, item 3, item 4 here. Okay, you have varying relationship like strong relationship, medium relationship weak relationship or no relationship as part of the comparison or correlation of list 1 items with list 2 items. This is 1L. Similarly, there is another L here under T shape that is list 1 and list 3. So the items of list 1, item A, item B, item C, item D are correlated or compared with the list 3 items, item alpha, beta, gamma and delta. So you have two different L types or possible here you cannot compare or correlate items between list 2 and list 3 you can only compare between list 1 and list 2 list 1 and list 3 you cannot compare list 2 and list 3 if you want to achieve that kind of correlation you must resort to 
white tape matrix. As part of white tape matrix, you have three L shapes here list 1 and list 3, list 3 and list 2, list 1 and list 2. That means list 1 and list 2. That means A, B, C, D of list 1 are compared with 1, 2, 3, 4 of list 2. Similarly, A, B, C, D of list 1 are compared or correlated with alpha, beta, gamma of list 3. Similarly, alpha, beta, gamma of list 3 are correlated with 1, 2, 3, 4 of list 2. So, you have three L shapes here and you can compare all the three L type matrices as part of Y type matrix. Now, if you wanted to have correlation possible or comparison possible across four L type matrices, that is list A and list B, this comes under as part of one L. Similarly, list B and list C, this comes under second L. List C and list D, this comes under third L. List D and list A, this comes under fourth L. Then, using an X type matrix diagram, you can have correlation or comparison between items of four L type matrices available. In real time scenario, relationship between things are often complex because there exists relationship in more than two dimensions. To represent such many-to-many -many relationship, we need a tool like matrix diagram to represent such complex situations. The matrix diagram is a simple tool that allows relatively complex situations to be analyzed in a simple, straightforward and pictorial way. The matrix diagram helps us expose interactions and dependencies between things that help us to understand complex casual relationship in a simple and pictorial way. I thank your interest to learn and I look forward to add more value add sessions in future. Thank you.